Greetings everyone, Xanrath here. Welcome back to a bird story, which is a story that's not about a pigeon. As I'm pretty sure. I actually googled it and I I think this bird has a much more like long and tapered beak than pigeons do. Um, maybe a special species of pigeon, I don't know. But anyways, you guys don't care about um, What is the study of birds? Ornithology? No I don't know. Anyways. Let's go back to um uh, ice cream. Oh, wow, that's a long ways back, I think. Oh, oops, wait, did I... Nope, okay, yeah. I was gonna say, I don't remember him brushing his teeth. I remember that in the very first scene. So I was wondering if I accidentally selected the wrong scene. So yeah, let's go, let's go. Speed it up. Get the planes. I thought I was going to start out the ice cream uh, scene, but... Alright. That was pretty far back. Alright. Let's do this. Go, go, go. Oh, fail. Alright. Let's go exploring again. I, I, uh, I realized that I don't even have to do, like, a preface for these videos when I, when I play through, uh, episode by episode, just because you get to see the last, like, minute of the end of each episode, just because I don't cut off at good checkpoints. Actually, I can't even, like, during these cutscenes, oh wait, I can, okay. Yeah, during the actual cutscene, I can't escape and go to the menu, so... Yeah, you get to see the imagination watching the television with the bird running inside the apartment. The story all over again. Alright, I'm gonna beat the bird this time in splashing. That's also another thing. We get to, like, go back and, you know, re explore certain things that we failed at the first couple times. So, all right, I'm gonna beat you at splashing. No, not fair. Head start. Ah, no, no. Get in, splash, splash better, dude. No. Oh man. He's like hogging all the rain puddle things. Oh, get it, get it, yeah. Woo! Beat him at splashing, even though he cheated. Cause he had all like the. Took up all the space. The the water space, so I couldn't actually splash. Um, okay. I didn't do anything different from the first time around, so I guess the first time around you're meant to fail at the airplane throwing thing. Chase after him, kick this dude in the chair. Screams. Oh, this is something I didn't notice the first time around either. Wait for it. Wait for it. Dairy. With an I. Haha. <laughs> just kidding. Anyways. Right here, he like offers the ice cream and he just like takes it all in his beak. And it just perfectly like congeals around his, his beak and he puts it right back. Nope. No problem. And yes, I realize it's a game, but still. Physics. <laughs> just kidding. It's having some lighthearted fun. I'm gonna follow them this time instead of trail behind and freak out at the car. Alright, Teeter Totter, let's go. Gather all my, um, hopefully soon to be friends. There's a shovel in this sand pit. I've never. Okay, so if, one, I don't think I've ever played in a sand pit that I remember at least, which might not be saying much because I think you only play in sand pits when you're like, what, five? Four or five, maybe, if that. Um, I never had a sand pit at my school, I don't think. So, curious why you need like a, like a legit shovel there. Doesn't look like one of those plastic ones. But, I digress. Alright, let's do this again. Rank one paper thrower. I don't think you can fail at that. 
Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Because I don't think I... I push space, and I don't think I hit up or down at all, so... Illusion of choice. Not even choice. Illusion of... I don't know. <laughs> Alright, we're in the store. We're buying... Is that bread? Alright. Get some of that bread. Okay, never mind. I guess we're gonna steal bread. Oh no, we're gonna pay for it. Never mind. <laughs> it doesn't let me uh, choose to try to steal it. Is that me? That is me. Where am I going? Can I wait until I'm off screen? And go back and buy more bread? Nope, can't buy bread. Can I go this way? What's gonna happen if I, uh... Can't go. Never mind. Wait, can I go around the tree? No. Nope, alright. Too shitty game. With your invisible walls. Uh, okay. You know, I'm playing this game as if, like, there's, like, all sorts of like, Easter eggs or, like, hidden pathways to find, but I don't know. I think there is at least one Easter egg. I think I read that somewhere, but, um, I don't know. I just kind of feel like walking around aimlessly and not really progressing the story in order to try to find some random thing that I'm still probably not going to find. Anyways, remember the honey badger? Uh, what's going to happen now? Oh, is this our bird friend's bird girlfriend? Looking for her... her... Wait. Hold on. This one is blue. And the other one is like a brownish color. So... Based on what I know about peacocks, which I realize it's not peacock. You know, usually males have the vibrant colors. And the females have the more kind of drab colors. So this actually might be a girl bird. That's logic, baby. Kind of. Not really. That's applying an assumption to something that you don't even know it applies to. Alright. Um, uncertain gender bird. I guess we're going to start calling the bird... Uh, well, we call the bird the bird. But if we ever need to use a pronoun, we're going to have to call the bird uh, he slash she. Because um, they is plural. It's not the correct pronoun to use. Grammar 101. So I just stepped out on the porch with my book and smiled. I'm not sure what's going to happen now. Oh, we're on the roof now. Or the, yeah, roof. What are we going to do up here? You know, every time I see one of these scenes where the kid, like, opens the book and it's, like, going to tear out a page, it kind of reminds me of, um, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics Advance for Game Boy Advance. You know, where that kid, um, the sick kid, um, He's like in his bedroom and like he can't go out and hang out with friends because he's sick all the time. And so he has the uh, uh, this book about like fantasy world and stuff like that. He opens it and then all of a sudden you're in the world of Final Fantasy or whatever. That's what I kind of that's what I always think about that when I see this kid opening this book, just waiting for me to like get pulled into the world of Final Fantasy. Jeez, I'm like defacing this book. What am I even doing? Oh, I'm gonna make a huge airplane. That's what I'm doing. I get it. I see you. I don't know how they're sticking together, but okay. Wow, that book is gone. Can I even call it a book anymore? It's just like the binding. It's the cover. Yeah. It's, it's amazing that this puzzle piece fits so perfectly. How are those pages stuck together? I guess you could tape them. I don't see any tape though, but, you know, no matter. Oh boy. I'm excited. We're going flying.
And we already know that this kid is like super great at what? Okay, imagination. Imagination land time. Is that a TV show? No, that's Adventure Time. Never mind that. Yep. That, uh, that draft. Or maybe those. Or, maybe I'm just like, maybe I'm like Einstein. Just like really smart. And, oh, that's, that's weird. Uh, and even though I'm like in grade school, I'm like a super great engineer. And I understand lift. Oh, I hold it to, to boost. And slow down and boost. Oh, white cloud. Keep going, boost. The mountains. Ah, very scenic. This is like the one of those, um, uh, whatchamacallit. It's not, it's like one of those official art wallpaper things. Floating island. Oh, it's our bird friends. Oh, we're getting the backstory on our bird friend. He had a family. Oh, what? What are we doing? Uh-oh. What did I do? What did I do wrong? Am I supposed to collect these? Okay. Can I go down? Whoosh. I can go down. Well, uh, we'll limit though. How far can I go up? Off the screen. All right, let's get back down to like where we're supposed to be. Ish. Okay. Oh, we're in Hawaii now. That's cool. Time to grab those bird nests. Or checking them out, I don't know. Are we like going on vacation, visiting family? It's the holiday season. Makes sense. Very apt. Alright, so we were in snow capped mountains of uh, Russia. We went to Hawaii, now we're at Mars. I don't even see the bird's nest, but. Oh, there it is, okay. I thought it was gonna be a tree. I did not look in the ground. Right after Mars, we go to, or maybe this is the desert. Maybe it's Arizona. Now we're in the jungles. Kind of looks like uh, I'm gonna say the Himalayas. Actually, no, the Himalayas are snowy. Uh, this is Mount Rainier in Washington. It's not even that. I don't, think Mountain, I don't think it's foresty like that, though. I don't know. Help me out, guys. Give me uh, locations, real world locations of where, where this is. Where these, uh, oh, past it, where these locations are. This is Plains. So, Nebraska. I don't know why I'm all of a sudden just stuck in the U.S. now. Actually, this is my, like, Maybe it's like Peru, like the, the, what's it called, the Incas, I think, in the Andes? Kind of, that's kind of a, I don't know, I, for some reason that's the imagery that comes to mind when I saw that kind of, uh, that background with like the, the, the layered levels of terrain. I don't even know if that's applicable to the Incas in the Andes, but for some reason that's what came to my mind. Alright, well thanks for the... okay. Thanks for the ride. Let me go ahead and just collect all the, pace, uh, the pages. Pieces, pages, whatever. This book is magic. Just a different kind of magic. So we look over our city. Think about how we want to take over and rule it someday. As a boy genius engineer. We'll just make robots. That's I mean, that's how... All the animes with the mechs and whatever. That's how you take over the world, right? You make robots. Transformers? Those are aliens, though, right? I, haven't, I actually haven't seen Transformers. Uh-oh. Someone called the doctor. Wait, that's, that's the vet, I think. Right? The veterinarian. Oh, real lifetime. Oh, awkward. It's awkwardly step around the veterinarian. <laughs> Thank you.
Oh, now we're hiding. Does that veterinarian have a hood on a on his or her robe? It kind of looks like a hood. Ah. Uh, like Moses, I part the redwoods. I guess we're in California now. Alright. What are we doing? Collecting our friend here. Okay, guess not. Are we confronting the veterinarian? Well, what if the veterinarians are mom or dad? Whoa. Whoa. Uh, no, we're not gonna end it right now, but I will look to shortly ish. Across the street. It's legit. Alright, so we're at the tree part. So, okay. Going to school? Nope, going to the hallway in the school. I feel like I'm supposed to go to class, but I'm gonna go off into the blackness. Nope, just kidding. Can I peek in the window? Can I shake down this fern for healing herbs? Answer to all those questions and probably a lot more? No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The veterinarians come to talk to my teacher. It is our mom. Or she, he or she is our mom slash dad. Yes, hide in the janitor's closet. Uh, we're gonna go all Scooby-Doo now. With the Benny Hill theme. And the only reason I know it's the Benny Hill theme song, well, it's kind of like a parody of it, I guess, It's because I... Of course. Um, it's because I used it in a... Oh yeah, totally. I totally planned it. Uh, I used the Benny Hill theme song in uh, a video I made in high school. I'm not that old. I think Benny Hills. How old is that TV show? I don't know. Oh, we're going all Super Mario on her. Koopa. I like this. I like this developer is like, um. I was gonna say a sense of humor. I'm not sure it's humor, but just the, the references to stuff. It's, it's very, uh, it's very cool. Uh oh. Are we evil now? It's evil me. It's like... I'm Bakura. And that's... Evil Bakura. I'm Chains of Heart Bakura. Alright. Well, now that that ordeal is over, let's go ahead and, uh look at the cover of our book and not actually read it. Actually, for I think it's, we established it was our notebook, right? So, at least we know we don't take notes in class. Uh-oh, where'd Birdie go? Not there, it's Birdie. Hi, Birdie. I really need to take those clothes in at some point, don't I? Uh oh, solo music. Is your wing okay now, bird? Are you leaving me now? After all I did for you, fed you, brought, bought you bread. I would have stolen it for you if the game let me. I'd do that much for you. I saved you from this cage. This is how you repay me. You're gonna leave me for a pink butterfree. I guess Pizziotto would have been a more apt or appropriate analogy. I don't remember why Ash released Pidgeotto, though. And if for some reason you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Pokemon. But I'm sure everyone figured that out. <sighs> Alright. Looks like, okay, one last time, turn on the lights. I can't even turn on the lights, it's that sad. Past my kitchen with no sink. Read the note. Don't forget your umbrella. Screw the umbrella. 
JK, I want the umbrella. Because I'm Mary Poppins, still. <sighs> it's gonna be so sad losing a friend. I've never had a friend before. Can't even splash in the puddles. Okay! I think that's a good place to keep on going! Because I think there is, I mean, there's one more title left. Title card. Card thingy. I don't know what these are called. Up, oh, don't go. Okay. Screw it. Jaywalk. to the right place to go. No, I'm gonna run away. I wanna go up now. Up. Oh. oh my. The bird was the veterinarian the whole time. Scott M. Knight. Shlamalama ding donged. No. Back. I refuse. No! Ice cream. TV. Paper planes. Teeter totter. This isn't how it's supposed to happen. My laundry. Oi. It's kind of like a uh, Wind Waker. That's what I remind me of. Uh oh. I hope I didn't die. Just dropped. No. Back off. Can't have the bird. What? Oh, the teachers. That's not fair. Double teaming. Close the trees, dude. Use your magic. Uh oh, we're gonna jump. We'll do it. Oh, we're actually gonna do it. Space bar to go faster. We're going away from our troubles. Even though they'll always catch up to us in the end. Oh no! No! Going down. Just kidding. <laughs> ah! That wasn't supposed to happen like that. Mayday. Mayday. down. I can't see anymore either. I'm blacking out. Hospital, and this was like all a coma induced dream. Pages of my hopes and dreams, tattered and wrinkled, shredded, fall. I'm okay. I'm okay. But where's our friend? Where's my backpack? Can I collect all the things? Mm, nope. 
am I going? Oh, that's my backpack. No! Bird! What? Oh, okay. I was like, why did he jump on him? Is he, like, teabagging him? Headshot. Bird teabag. Now we have all these friends, but it doesn't even matter because our best friend is gone. Now we don't even have friends anymore. Because we neglected them after we lost our bird friend. Don't even talk to me, dude. No. Stop it. I just want the shovel. Uh, to the school or to home? I'm going home. Screw this. Don't want to play with these kids anymore. It's all your fault, veterinarian. You didn't make me do it. Oh, stupid trees. Make me face my teacher. It was your fault, too. You conspired against me with the veterinarian. The guys killed Birdie. No. Don't talk. No, stop it. Okay. Uh. What is that? Um... Okay, just kidding. Can't go to school either. Nope, no trash to play with. Tree wall. What am I supposed to do? Go down? Over here? Oh, there's another fence? No. This fence represents the barrier between you and my. You and I. You can never understand. You can never fathom the sadness I faced when I lost my friend. That's what the story is about. It's a boy learning to deal with the loss of everyone he holds dear. the rock, and you watched me lay against the rock. Time to go home. And not study. I hope you aren't there, elevator door guy. Doesn't even matter. Oh, you are there. Oh. Well, that was awkward. Checkpoint check. Looks like we're almost done.
Alright, what are you guys gonna think? Check out the bush. Bird's gonna be there. Bird's not gonna be there. Moment of truth. Laundry's still there. We knew that was that was not gonna change. Now this is what happened in the beginning. Not there. So sad. He used to drink out of this... bedpan. I don't know what that is. It's square. Oh, he's gonna refill the water just in case it comes back. He slash she. The bird. I wait for the bird every night. We're not like Penelope waiting for Odysseus. Someday. No, the bird will come back to us. Ten years, kid. You got ten more years to wait. Better buckle up. It's been a long time. Oh, we're gonna make a paper airplane and toss it off our our uh balcony every night in honor of her friend. I hear squawking. Flapping. Could it be? Oh, that's me. Are you back, friend? Did you bring your boyfriend slash girlfriend? You're back! Happy endings all around. Did you come to teach me how to fly now? For realsies? I'm so happy to see you. Oh, and you brought your friend, like I thought you would. Can I, like, get on your back and ride you like a flying mount? Aw, oh, you can fly yourself. That's so cool. Alright, teach me how to fly. It's beckoning at me. Okay. Level one. Flying mount. Oh, just kidding. come back and visit, right? I mean, we did go to, like, Russia and Arizona and Peru together. Why are you up there? Oh, he brought me back my paper plane. Good dog. Can you train birds to fetch? I mean, you can, there's falconry, right? You can train birds to... Yeah, you can train birds to fetch. So he's a falcon? Oh, Touching moment. The feels. I miss you. But I know you have to go with your family. It's okay. I understand. What we had together was something special. I'll never forget it. But if you love something, you gotta let it go. Okay, I think that bird was bigger, the, the, our bird was smaller, rather, than the blue one, so, 
I think that means it's the bird. Our bird is male. Actually, no, that, that's not true. No, I don't think bird, for birds, males are smaller than females. For a lot of species, I know that's true. But, uh, yeah. Maybe it's just because that bird was injured, so it got a little sickly and lost a lot of weight, so. But, hey! That's the story. We did it, guys. Only took us an uh, hour and a half, 40 minutes, uh, 30, this is almost 40 minutes. 20, I think, last time. Yeah. For an hour long game, we did it in like two hours. I call that a success. For me, at least, because I'm really slow at playing games. You guys probably tell. Probably not surprised. No, oh, I'll take you under my wing. Autumn now. Sun rises on our uh, our city after we uh, let our friend go. I'll always remember you because of this paper plane. Great bookmark. Now it's time to get on with my life. I learned something today. I learned how to uh, make friends. So now I'm going to be able to... Okay. Uh, I guess that's the next game. Well, escape to exit. Oh, okay. So that was pretty fun. Uh, I really enjoyed it. A uh, nice touching story. And um, that thing at the end with like him growing up, I think that is... Um, so I don't think this is a spoiler, but... If it is, then ignore this part. But uh, this game does take place in the Two to Moon universe. I think this is a prequel to that game. Um, this is like the boy who, like I said, I haven't played Two to the Moon, so I don't know what happens in that. But I think it's like a sick kid, um, or maybe an adult. I don't know. And like their doctors involved and stuff like that. And so this is, I think, the ki the person, the main like person in this game. You know, that kid with the the bird. I think he is the person who get, ends up being sick in the Two to Moon game. And so I think that picture at the end was, you know, maybe something that has to do with the the linearity of these games, if that makes sense. And I guess it also um, foreshadows another game in this kind of series. But... Anyways, that's the end of A Bird Story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. Um, this is the first time I played a game like this, where you know there really isn't a focus on leveling up or whatever and doing all this stuff. It's just kind of like a story uh, that you play through and really takes very minimal uh, input from the user, but it was a really nice story. Uh, I think I've said that plenty of times, so... It was fun. It was great. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and until next time.